Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to episode 73. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark, real Oilers talk for the Oilers fan. And those of you that are not Oilers fans, thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Today we got a special little video for you. It's the Aspirations and Resolutions video. Now, I've been mulling on this for a bit. Because I'm not a big fan of resolutions and not a big fan of looking forward or down the line too far. I live my life one day at a time. I don't look ahead. I don't plan. I don't look forward. I just do. I leap without looking. Now... So that's why it's taken me a while to do this video. It's been written out. It's been talked about for months. Um, but I guess now is the time to do it. Trade deadline coming up. Why not do it? So our first talking point is trade targets. I have trade targets. BW has trade targets. I'm going to put the, my trade targets in blue. BW's trade targets in orange we're also going to go through the season ending standings what we think the order's record is going to be who we think they're going to play in the playoffs other possible targets will play in the playoffs um yeah obviously it's just what we think if it's going to happen who knows it'd be great if it did right it would be Nostradamus's, but again, we'll see. So my first trade target is forward winger Anthony Duclair. Now, the reason why I say Duclair, he's going to be a rental. He has a $3 million cap hit, so obviously salary has to go out for him. So $3 million cap, one year left. Great, great move, great move. What does he bring? He brings grit. So he's gritty. He can point produce. In your bottom six. You can play in your bottom six or you can play up in your lineup. My uh, and what it's what is it gonna take to get him now? Take a B prospect. Get him. B prospect. And forward. Again, money going in, money going out. That's not going to cost a lot to get a guy that has grit, can hit, can score, can point produce. Yes, he's on the IR right now. How bad is his injury? I don't know. So that's why in a dream world, dreams is scenario, that's great. Now, He's going defensively. I think the defense is fine as is. I honestly do believe this is pretty good defense as is. We've learned we are getting healthier. Now, BW's first trade target is a lefty defenseman. And you've heard him talk about it. You've heard everybody talk about it. Carson. <laughs> Excuse me. Foxy. Or Susie. Again, Carson is a rental. 2.7. One year. What does he bring? Defensive health. Ah, 
does not give up the blue line. He brings descent, defensive help, and he doesn't give up the blue line. Now, it's going to cost us, so first rounder, or fourth. Now, there's other teams involved in this. There are probably 10 other teams that are looking at this guy and want him on their team. He's obviously a good player. He's a good defensive player. He'll help out our back end. My trade target number two, another forward, another centerman. This one's off the board. Scott Lawton. Thank you. Love you. You heard me coughing? Oh, that sucks. I love you too. Now, you've heard me talk about Scott Lawton. The reason why I like Scott Lawton, he's a centerman. It's not going to cost you very much. He's got three years left on his contract. Another three million cap hit. Three years. Which means contract control for two more years after this year. What does he bring? Face offs. Face offs all day, every day. Face offs. What is this main thing that this team is lacking right now? Face offs. Oh, also, he also is a point producer. Play him up and down your lineup, third line, fourth line, second line. It's going to cost us a second rounder. Fifth rounder. Or B plus. Now, that's not much, right? I, I think we can all agree that that's a pretty good trade fair, fair trade off. Get a second rounder, a fifth rounder, or a B plus prospect. We've got tons of them. Again, three million, three million a year for three years. Contract control. I like. BW's other acquisition that you would like is another left defenseman. Nico Nicola. He had 1K in his spelling, apparently, unlike other Nikos. Whenever I hear that name, I think of Ricola. Ricola. Rental, that's the problem. He's a rental, but he's a cheap rental at 1.9. But he's a rental. And what, what is it going to cost us? A second, third, or a B plus. Prospect. Magneto is out of the way. Now that's where it gets fun. What does Nico bring? Defensive help. Toughness. Solid D. Pretty good so far, right? Pretty good trade targets. Now here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna erase some of this, and here's where the fun begins. Long shots. I have one. He has one.
Here's mine. Ooh. As I drop everything under the sun. Jonathan Taves. Yes, Jonathan Taves. What's it going to take to get Jonathan? A first rounder? plus possibly an A prospect. What does Jonathan Tate look like? That's a pretty messed up F, I'm sorry guys. What does Jonathan Tate bring? He brings defensive help. Leadership. What else does he bring? He brings plate cross offensive help. Winning attitude. Can't argue that, right? Oh, lower. Oh, also, it might cost us some roster picks. You don't know who they are, it's got to equal to some money, obviously. Now, BW's long shot, also very long shot. A lot of teams interested in him. Well, what's it going to cost us? That's part of Jacob. He's more affordable than Jonathan Taves. And he's got the same weight class. Well, there's will have some choice. Perfect. But this is a downside. Two firsts. One first. Two seconds. Third. Oh, sorry, no third. Ooh. Oh, now you're giving up two first or first second. Excuse me, sorry, plus two brings. Need some help. Scoring. We can help them score their own goals. So that's our fantasy. That's our. Long shot. Wonder what we call them long shots. Like. That's if our GM really wants to be the win now GM. But we don't know if he is that right now, right? We don't know what he is. Both a hold on to what you got and sell the farm. And once you sell the farm, you don't you gotta be the hold on to what you got. You no longer have the farm to sell. Alright, now the Trepidation I had with this trade and the worry I had with it. Year and year end up, and we'll say. W has us. 
Remember, BW is orange. He has the order to be in this. I'm bold. Don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I'm bold. Like I said, I don't like doing these, so I go over and just don't ask me to look forward to the future because when I do, I go 30, 27. You ask me to do something, I'm going to go above and beyond what the normal is because that's just how I do things. All in, balls out. I have rulers obviously first in the Pacific Division. Raven has them somewhere in the middle. BW Surrey has them somewhere in the middle. Which is fine, you know, that's totally fine. You should be middle. Playoffs are playoffs. Once you're there, nothing can happen. So, saying that, playoffs. Playoff matchups. Round one. I have them playing Dallas. W has them playing. Los Angeles. Yes, I think Dallas will fall. That's the thing. I've been back and forth on this, and that's where I'm going to say Dallas for I don't think Colorado's making the playoffs. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I don't think they're making the playoffs. Round two. That's Calgary. That's kind of cool. Took them out back to back years in the second round. Third round. And obviously the cup. If the Oilers get there, if they fight for it, right? Who knows? They might. Third round, I have the one playing against Winnipeg. BW has Colorado. Oh, this is the fun part. Cup final. New York Rangers. I have the Rangers making the cup final. Yes, bold, I know. And BW went boring and sad. Carolina. Now, other matchups that I think, obviously, are going to play Nashville. BW think or Winnipeg in the first round. Second round, Dallas, Minnesota. Third round. Both think that if Dallas falls and does go on, they're gonna play there in the fourth, in the third round against Edmonton. Now the final, possible finals: Tampa, Boston, and the biggest one is what is in the world. Round 
Go make believe. There you have it, guys. That's how we figure playoffs are going to go. That's our aspirations and resolutions. You've seen our trade targets. You've seen our standings where we think the Oilers will finish with the record. Who they could face in the playoffs. I don't like doing these because if you're wrong, then people can go back, look at this fool, look at this clown. What is he talking about? He's an idiot. But if you're right... People may take you seriously. Now, a lot of things can happen between now and in April. A lot of things can happen between now and March. Injuries can happen. Losing streaks can happen. Winning streaks could happen. This was fun. Hey, if it all works out, that's great. If it doesn't, that's great too. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, once again, for Oilers After Dark. Follow us over at the Facebook page. Oilers After Dark is there too. Hey, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Am I out to lunch? Are we at Oilers After Dark out to lunch with our aspirations and our resolutions? Who knows? But again, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Detroit Oilers, 530, right here on the channel. We're doing a live stream.